This is Kurt Benick at the 2018 Work Truck Show with Brian Daniels, the manager of Detroit. Brian, you guys introduced the DD5 a couple years ago. Now you've just come out and expanded the product line with the DD8. Can you tell us a little bit about the DD8 product? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we're here today at the NTA show. Um, I'm happy to announce uh, in production since February the DD8 engine. Uh, DD8 really starts at 260 horsepower, 660 pound foot of torque, goes up to 350 horsepower, 1050 pound foot of torque in a standard application, and goes up to 375, 1050 in a fire and emergency application. Okay, I understand this has a lot of the Detroit features, like you have Detroit Connect or Virtual Technician is yep. available with this engine as well? Absolutely. So uh, with, with the DD8, uh, three-year warranty, 250,000 miles, and standard with that three-year, 250,000-mile warranty is access to Detroit Virtual Technician through Detroit Connect, uh, Detroit Connect and Detroit Virtual Technician. Basically, what that allows is for the, uh, for the owner of that vehicle uh, through a portal to look at active faults, uh, whether it be with the engine, whether it be with the after-treatment, uh, look and monitor the health of that vehicle. Uh, should we have a fault code and, and that owner want to get that truck into the shop, it will not only show them uh, what shops are close by, but also show them shops that have the parts uh, available to, to make those repairs as well. I understand you guys are really maximize the cost of operation with this engine in terms of both maintenance, the maintenance intervals, yep. and in terms of fuel efficiency. Can you address yep. that a little bit? Absolutely. So, uh, real excited. Um, you know, maintenance is becoming more and more of a key as budgets are getting cut, as folks are, uh, are struggling to keep up with maintaining fleets with less people. Um, with three times the, the maintenance intervals of, of the previous industry standard. So, if you're looking at uh, a DD8, uh, 45,000 mile maintenance intervals for a DD8. Um, DD5, the, the brother to the DD8, uh, which is also here at the NTA show, 35,000 maintenance intervals. Uh, so, three times what, uh, what the previous industry standard was. Um, from a fuel efficiency standpoint, great engine, great uh, program on fuel efficiency well, uh, as well. Uh, we basically exceeded our, our own uh, driven fuel efficiency targets by about 3% in the development of this engine. Okay, and uh, how does this fit into the Detroit profile? Uh, DD5, DD8, it, it, then the next engine in the line would be the... Yep. So next engine would be DD13. So um, really... Um, also here today, as I mentioned, we have the DD5 engine. DD5 engine at full production, which is in September, uh, will start at 200 horsepower, 560 pound-foot of torque. We do have that rating available today. But at full production, we take that all the way up to 240 horsepower, 660 pound-foot of torque. Uh, have availability with the Allison transmissions, both the HS and the RDS at full production, as well as Eaton transmissions. Uh, we talked about the DD8 kind of being the next step in that 260, okay. 660 range, uh, all the way up to 375, 10. 50. Then we go uh, on the vocational side to the DD13 engine. That's kind of our big bore, our heavy hitter. Um, uh, that vehicle uh, used there would be the 114 SD, primarily uh, using the DD13 engine. Okay. Do you see applications uh, with the, with an DD8? Do you see applications where you can save some weight versus using a nine-liter engine? Uh, you know, very comparable weight-wise, uh, the, the, the nine liter engine that's that's prevalent in the market today, as well as the DD8, very comparable uh, weight-wise there between the two. Now, Brian, I understand this uh, this engine is very well suited for vocational applications because in vocational applications, a lot of times the engines don't generate enough heat to. to regenerate the DPF, but you have a solution with this engine, is that correct? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, with, with both the DD5 and the DD8 engines, knowing that those engines are really designed to go in these vocational applications, think about your, your low speed, your refuse trucks, your mixer trucks, uh, vehicles that don't necessarily, um, you know, they, they, they go low speeds, more idle time. Uh, we use a technology called variable cam phasing. And what variable cam phasing is basically doing is uh, it is varying the amount of uh, fuel in, in, the, uh, in the injection process and the combustion process um, and, and it's driving uh, hotter exhaust temperatures uh, to go in the after treatment. Uh, the idea there hopefully is that we are we're able to do more passive regeneration and not force that driver, that operator to have to pull over and do uh, you know manual regen taking them out of their, their core work and their core responsibilities. So again it drives productivity because the person is spending more time working, less time sitting waiting for regens. Absolutely, yes. Okay. Thank you Brian. All right.